Okay. I most definitely need. Have mercy. I've got to get something off my chest. Let me turn this light off. I've seriously got to get something off of my chest. Like for real. What in the world? What is going through the Braxton sisters' minds to make them think that what they're doing is okay? First off, Kevin, um, Tracy's husband, I feel so much. I feel for you so much because you just lost your best friend your wife of 30 plus years when tracy first passed away immediately and i'm talking about immediately i thought about her son and her husband and it broke my heart. My heart broke for them. Not just me being sad over Tracy's death because she was my favorite Braxton, but for her best friend and her son. Because her husband was her best friend and she even said it. The way that the Braxtons are moving, especially Tawanda Braxton, is snakish just like Tracy said in that yesterday. Okay, let me ask you a question. Answer. In your opinion, what was the problem with last oh, night? The problem last night is why would you have your boyfriend to say all that about us, how we need to get together, and you know the damn dirty You know I was adamant that I didn't want to do it. Well, Tracy. But there's no well Tracy. It is a well Tracy. It's not a well Tracy because Absolutely. if you know your sister, I had no idea y'all was going to do it last night. Why would you do that or have your boyfriend do that last okay, night? Well, but about everything that, no, it's no good. Okay, I'll let you finish because, oh, Go ahead then, Tawana, since you want to antagonize somebody. So don't play with me okay. because guess what? You know exactly what you're doing. Don't be looking like that, you snake ass son of a gun. Okay. You're a snake okay. and then you like controversy and you like all of that okay. so you can find it on youtube but it was like a several seasons back or a couple seasons back like back in 2019 when they, they went to napa valley and sean tawanda's not even husband not even fiance because according to the braxton's now they're not even engaged but when sean which is tawanda's boyfriend boyfriend came up with the idea for the sisters to sit together and Tracy said Tawanda knew that she didn't want that she knew that Tawanda knew that Tracy didn't want that and Tracy called her a snake and that video had me cracking up because she was like Tawanda you are my co-worker right now you are my co-worker true story anyways all that to say, Kevin, I really, really, really want you to keep your head up because your sister-in-law, all of your sister-in-laws, the exception of Tony now, I feel, because I appreciated Tony saying what she said in the episode about you never know what goes on between a husband and a wife, their conversations. I appreciate Tony for saying that, but your sister-in-laws are making this so difficult for you just like they made everything difficult for the men in their life notice they can't keep a man notice they were all divorced are all divorced and it kills me how they bash men so bad they bash men so bad yet they always want a man they always want a man why bash all these men if you if you can't seem to um navigate life just by yourself because y'all bash men all day y'all talk about men all day y'all degrade men all day especially the men the men in um, your lives which i'm pretty sure is why your brother mikey don't really fool with y'all like that that's another story uh kevin i just feel so much for you I just want to send strength and you already seem strong 
of course, a man in mourning. But even men need strength too especially when you're dealing with manipulative women i grew up with manipulative women in my life tawanda trina what they're doing right now is very manipulative tamar i haven't really seen her in the um in these past episodes like that honestly i skip over her but what trina and tawanda was doing went up to Maryland and trying to figure out this situation and just bashing you um I feel like there definitely there's ulterior motives to that I don't feel like they're being genuine Tawana keeps mentioning that she calls little Kev your son scratchy and literally everybody including her children your your child's cousins said who is scratchy or when did you start calling him that? So that lets me know she's on some BS. So I just think the fact that she's taking your son and she's pitting him against you is so low down. Because guess what? I know Tracy would... I know this is the exact opposite of what Tracy would want. And excuse me, y'all. I'm very upset and I'm trying to get my words together. But I'm just very upset because... This is not what Tracy would want. Do you not remember when they were in Napa Valley and they were all bashing you, Kev? They were bashing Kevin and that pissed Tracy straight off. No, listen, let me finish, Tracy. Tracy, let me finish, Tracy. Listen, can you let me finish? A lot of emotions are coming to a head. And all this from 25 years ago, the tour drama, the talk behind my back, assault my husband, and all this is just, it's, it's, it's too much. It's too much. And I can't hold back right now. So you, do you think, how do you think she would feel now, knowing that the Braxtons have this, tel this new television show that's basically based off of her death? And they are ba continuously bashing her husband and bringing her son into it. Her son was never on the show like that. I probably only seen him like a good six times, honestly. And his scenes were short. They were short. <sighs> this is not what Tracy would want. Kevin, I'm sorry you're dealing with this. I can't even express how sorry I am. I don't know how you're dealing with it. Because I couldn't. And it's disappointing to me because I see this a lot. Women look like these dainty little creatures. And it's easy for them to look like victims. People, a lot of the times, don't really look at women like that. Like... They, they don't try to look up the proof. They just take their word for it. Like I feel like people would do with them. Because they have the bigger platform. Your sister-in-laws have the bigger platform. And it's all of their word against yours. And I hate that. But at the same time, I have been reading the comments. And I feel like the fans... No, the fans know that they are on some BS because it's crazy to me that little Kevin fixed his mouth to say he was born into this family, but you were married into the family, which is true. But what was the point of that? You get what I'm saying? You were Tracy's best friend. You were, Tracy said it herself. You looked out for Tracy. You was there for Tracy. Y'all had y'all's issues. And I, I don't know you personally. But every married couple had its issues. Has its issues. So. Who they need to be mad at. Is Tamar. Just because they're sisters. The shit that I've heard them say. Come out of their mouth. A lot of that shit is unforgivable. Like when Tracy said that one of Tracy's sisters said that Tracy was dead to them. And I bet you I know which one that is. Mm, it begins with the T. <laughs> 
No, but I I know people know who that was. I know people know who that was. Come on now. And Tamar, y'all need to be angry at your damn sister Tamar for when your niece died. When your niece Lauren died. And Tamar had the nerve to get on live and say, don't nobody tell you about no damn funeral. You know... I don't want my sisters or, or my family to get upset with me, but like, I, the things that's been going on, like, this is like the first time anybody in my family has passed. And let me tell y'all something, like, if you ain't never experienced it, praise God, get on your knees and praise and find you a corner because nobody tell you about going to the damn funeral. I don't have time going to the funeral. Like, I'm still still drained from that like i like like are you serious what do you think happens after somebody passes away tamar didn't you grow up in a church you've never been to a funeral before really that's what you're telling me and the people on in the comments have the nerve to say well you can't tell people how to grieve you certainly don't say no shit like that tawanda and um Trina, that's who y'all need to be mad at. The fact that she spoke on your niece like that. And I have a feeling that's why, that's why, um, that's a good reason why Tracy said you make it so hard to effing love you. Tracy said that. So y'all need to check your damn sister. Why is y'all so, so angry at Big Kevin? Why? Why? Tamar has said terrible things. And I mean unforgivable things. She's done unforgivable things. But yeah, y'all sitting here mad at a man who was there for your sister the whole time. Her best friend. Tawana, she called you her damn co-worker. Come on, boo. She called you a snake. And now you sitting there acting like you was so goody goody with your nephew Kevin. You are a lie. Kevin, like I said, it's I'm I'm getting upset. I really don't like being like this. But I've been watching the Braxtons since I was um I think they came out in like 2011, 2012. So I was like 11 or 12. And I'm 25 now. About to be 26. So I've seen how they all treated her. I feel like Trina treated her the best, honestly. Um, I appreciate it when she, Trina apologized to Tracy for not being able to live out her dream of being a singer. One of my major dreams, you know what I'm saying? It was just gone. I was pregnant when we signed our record deal. And Tracy got pregnant afterwards. And I was already five, six months in. So I was almost, you know, ready to go. And then Tracy just got pregnant, you know. And back then, it was really taboo, you know, for a person to be pregnant and up on the stage, especially as a new artist. Uh, now, people don't care anymore. But, you know, in 1995, they did. You know, even though I, I tried it, but I was angry at the same time. I stopped listening to music. I stopped singing. I stopped. But looking back, Tracy, I would like to say I'm sorry. Your dream didn't have to stop just because we were nervous about losing ours. So I'm sorry. Well, I, just wanted to, I don't think I ever told you that, but I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Trina. The way things happened with the Braxtons in 1995 and us signing without her, it was a great decision. So uh, looking back, I wouldn't have done it without her. But other than that, they didn't treat her well. Like, seriously, they didn't. And now trying to have this new series that's basically based on her life, which is crazy because they said that's one of the reasons that they are mad at Kevin because he had, had a memorial service supposedly when Tracy said she didn't want one. But yet this whole show is based off of her death because i don't know about anybody else but i cried so hard i was mourning tracy all over again when i watched that first episode i was mourning it i, I was mourning her. was it the first or second it was either the first or second whatever 
when they were in therapy. So, get y'all shit together. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because y'all was not there for y'all sister the way y'all are trying to make it seem. And y'all are doing something that I know she is against. And I know she wouldn't want. Why in the hell would she want her son and her husband on TV or just her son on TV bashing bashing his dad? And I know that it's them. I know it's Tawanda who is putting him up to, him, him up to be against his dad like that. I know it is. Kevin, I I wish you peace. Um in healing because I I being with somebody for such a long time and losing them, I know has got to cut you deep. But just hold on, brother. I know you got this. And I've dealt with, I grew up with manipulative women, very manipulative. And it's the most frustrating thing you can deal with because people, they're, they manipulate so well. So people, a lot of the times tend to look at them and think that they're telling the truth when they're not, they're not. So the truth will come out. Um, just keep your head up, Kevin. I didn't know y'all personally, but I don't know. I just see things. I I see things and you're not the bad guy. Well, we'll continue to watch. We'll continue to watch and see what else they have going on with the other mess they got going on. Because that's, that's what it is, a mess. But anyways, I had to get that off my chest. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.